So I had a great experience at Fairfield as an English major. You know, I came in kind of not 100% clear what I wanted to do, but I always loved to read and write. I loved politics, too. So I was kind of, you know, waffling between the two majors, but, uh, you know, decided that that writing was really my passion. Um, so so that's kind of what I went with, uh, you know, and had a great experience. I think probably my biggest um challenge at at Fairfield for me was, you know, playing baseball was kind of the balance of, you know, uh, spending time on the field and practices and all that stuff and, and still making sure my academics were up to snuff, which freshman year, they weren't quite up to snuff, but we recovered. Um, And, you know, it was, uh, you know, I I think, you know, as an English major, it it set me up for, uh, you know, a number of different paths. And, you know, I, I, you know, kind of illusions or dreams at one point of, of kind of doing a screenwriting thing or being a novelist, kind of grand ambitions, um, you know, but, but also kind of tempered that with the desire to, uh, you know, do, you know, explore other things as well, uh, which kind of eventually led me, you know, ultimately to the advertising world. Mike, yeah, I came in here not exactly knowing what I was going to do per se, but um, you know, falling on my writing and reading note love um, kind of drew, drew me to be an English major. Um, as time went on at Fairfield, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I was minoring in uh, what they called new media studies at the time, and during my last year here, that became a major. And with all those classes, I ended up double majoring in um, new media film and English. And really the link between those was uh, storytelling. Um, that's what I loved and was able to do the best. And you know, it was something that I thought here were two different sides of the same coin in a way. So I was able to combine both of those to kind of um, be a double major, and which eventually led into um, what I do now, essentially. So um, it all kind of came together, if you will. I came in undecided with the idea in the back of my head that I did want to be an English major and I believe I declared within about you know within the first semester I was an English major and then I added art history major as well because I just loved it and then it became the well how do I make that into a career and I was a professional writing concentration within the English major and I was doing technical writing for a computer software company um, for summer internships. And after two summer internships, I couldn't take it anymore. And I said, this is not going to work. And they basically said I could have a job. And I said, no, 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 thank you. Um, and so I came back from studying abroad and had no idea what I was going to do. But I interned my senior year at a nonprofit in Bridgeport under a fantastic um, grants manager who really took me under his wing and showed me everything that he did, and I fell in love. And so he helped me, um, well, with his recommendation, who was also a Fairfield grad, he knew of a job coming up in Bridgeport and for a development director. And so I transitioned into that and then have done everything. Um, my background really is grants. That's what I'm doing mostly now, but I do a lot of other development activities too. So one thing kind of led to another thing, but good writing helped me along the whole way. English writing papers and reading books is pretty much all I wanted to do all the time. So I knew that that was going to be my major. I was pretty set on that. Um, you know, the other panelists kind of mentioned internships and other things. That wasn't that wasn't my path. I was so sort of head down, just get just get through, get to the end of graduation and, and whatnot. But the thing that I enjoyed about being an English major was reading all those books and just talking about them. That to me wasn't work at all. The paper was work, but talking about books, I mean, that that's just fun, you know, and lots of debate and opinions. Uh, there's a pretty diverse population, diverse opinions, um, at least on campus when I, when I was here on campus. Um, and so getting into it uh, in those classes was just sort of the highlight of my day, or one of the highlights. Um, and I, you know, because I didn't, I didn't sort of direct myself into these internship roles and other sorts of things. Um, I spent a lot of my career kind of trying to backfill that. And if, if I could give, can I give advice now? No. Okay. <laughs> so advice, <laughs> totally volunteer and do internships or even just whether it's through the school or just sort of informally, um, any kind of volunteer opportunity 
uh, you can find for yourself. I, I would highly, if you're interested in it, I would highly recommend it because you never know when you're going to fall into something that someone puts you on a project that no one else wants to work on and boom, you've got a line on your resume that says, I worked on this project and I'm, I know all about it and now I can do it for you and you can pay me. So, um, yeah, I, I was going somewhere with this. Um, so yeah, I would I would definitely recommend um, volunteering and, and doing internships, which is not what I did. Um, I just I really let my love of books and, and reading guide me, um, and I, I I'm lucky enough to to say that I've you know had a career as successful as it I think it's been.